tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Uh, Wednesday, and we have a special topic for tonight. Aruana 101. Well, Aruana is now a very popular fish in the Philippines, not only in Asia. Unlike uh, around four decades ago, I had this uh, client who was ninang to an Athenian boy and when he asked her inaanak what do you like your tita to give you as a Christmas gift the Athenian replied tita I like to be rich please gift me with an aquarium with an arowana to her surprise and that started also her curiosity on this fish matter of luck okay so uh, there are a lot of luck stories around the arowana welcome to a new world for those who uh, only learn about arowanas today. It's not too late. If your business needs an extra push of luck, the answer is right before your eyes. Just listen tonight. Okay? So welcome to Arowana 101. The arowana at the onset is very expensive. A uh, small baby silver arowana is around a thousand pesos in the market today, uh, online or not. And uh, the basic gold is at least uh, two to three thousand pesos a fingerling, uh, whether imported or not. So with that investment cost alone, many fill their lives up with excuses just to avoid taking care of Aruana. I'm not one to convince you I will never do that. But I will share with you the principle of Feng Shui. Okay. Take your paper and pencil and write this down. God helps those who help themselves. Understood? So if you feel your business needs an extra push of luck from magic from whatever especially if you're gonna think feng shui try the arowana okay nothing to lose much to gain now people ask me is arowana lucky or not as usual, just like in human life, my answer, the answer is in your hands. Okay? Okay. So, much as I would like to share with you my uh, personal experience with uh, marijuana, it is quite an unbelievable experience. You might not even believe me, okay? But I was lucky enough to have a Feng Shui master 
who was strict, uncunning, and direct to the point. Okay. So he said, okay, if you want to learn the wonders of Arwana, come, let's go to the pet shop. And there, lo and behold, within an hour, I have my whole Arwana set of Aquario fully ready to plug and play and move across the highway to my house in Philip Quezon City because it's already heavy traffic and he said I will gift you with an arwana uh, for you to learn okay and so I just was quiet, surprised for his kind gesture, and appreciative. Because uh, I thought it was for him. I could not imagine going him with him all the way back to Binondo in a crazy uh, Edsa afternoon. Uh, that's around almost uh, 40 years ago. Okay. And believe it or not, after a week, I could not believe the cash flow and wealth it started bringing to my personal. Uh, savings. So, we're back. Excited for your first lesson tonight uh, on uh, real terms. This is what we call reality Arowana Feng Shui. So, when I met this guy, uh, let's just hide this. Uh, family name because his uh, clan is too famous. They own over one third of Minondo. Okay. And uh, he summoned me in an emergency phone story. Uh, one December. It was the only chance for us to meet, as he has been wanting to meet me already six times. And each time he had a trip abroad, and there was no way for us in our schedules to meet. Okay. So when we met in his uh, uh, office at the heart of Pinondo, he really described and outlined his problem. He was a recent widower at that time and inherited the business of his wife and daughter, which is a uh, a chain of uh, uh, pizza franchise all over Metro Manila plus Naga where uh, his wife hails from. Okay. That was the scope of his uh, problem. And the state in business problem was every day he was just high blood and wasting his time uh, 
from his real executive decision because that used not to be his uh, 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 decision making area okay yes no wonder he's getting stressed uh, in the short while that he inherited the business and his counterpart their only daughter was tiger and tiger versus monkey is really a problem this world war three and the ha only solution was to take care of an Iranian. So we were on the first uh, blood, first right move. Father and daughter harmonized as we went and assessed for every uh, each of parlor side, all six of them. And I came out with the verdict that they should sell at that time. And worst was, it was the peak of the financial crisis. Everything prices were falling down. And given his accountants, appraisers and valuation uh, privately he was willing to take a loss for his uh, franchise value uh, selling the whole caboodle uh, six stores for only uh, four million pesos and that was early 1997. What you have to do is to transfer the arowana from your office to your home. It was just silver after all. So two birds in one stone, then you pack up the arowana. Harmonizes you and your daughter and solves two problems. So time came when uh, on the third month he invited me to a Lugao party. I don't know, Lugpiak. You know, this traditional uh, Chinese family get together among friends where this lumpia that has been cooked almost for uh, 24 hours are served for dear friends and families. I was surprised in this hardware walk walk home. Uh, he had a special guest, his eldest brother. never knew they were related until I noticed their similarity. Okay. So in the course of the party, Lumpia party, uh, introduced me to George T saying that this is my uh, you found Feng Shui and he solved the problems for us. Two birds in one stone. So with the selling, only then that I learned that he was able to sell his house in Wak Wak and pay his debt to George to steer clear of any other 
financial burden. In a 1997 Thai financial crisis, to experience uh, two birds and one stone, doblete, huh? miracle, uh, you're back against the wall, uh, lost money, yet you still create a fortune out of it. Okay, and as a brother, uh, for the unique situation in their family, he was well appreciated uh, by the great banker for his integrity and resilience, okay, which continues up to now. Now, let's go down to lesser mortals. I had a classmate from my school uh, all of us, of course, nurtured dreams of making it big and become successful. So, his problem was uh, uh, he still wasn't the breadwinner of their family. So he wanted to be breadwinner. Okay. So I said, your time will come. Just be patient. And this is where I tell you how a piece of garbage can be another man's goal. Okay. So he was walking one day along the corridors of their family offices and in one of the offices there was like a shouting match between his uh, brother-in-law and German investors. They want to uh, fix this up uh, easily. Uh, uh, I can find a way and help you guys. And said, yeah, sure. Why don't we go out for lunch now and discuss the matter? So they did. So, right after lunch, uh, the Germans printed a new proposal conforming letter on the IPP for him to uh, uh, negotiate with the Philippine government. After that lunch, he went straight off to uh, Quezon City where he obtained the signature. It was easy because, uh, uh, well, they were in those and uh, they knew the principal signatories or all of their uh, relatives. So the next day, to the arrangement of the Germans and to their agreed upon uh, 
success fees in negotiating that contract. He uh, became very rich overnight. Okay, very simple. You have diamonds right on your back door. Your best friend is now with the Unibank. They're look, looking for uh, an energy portfolio and that will be an easy candidate in their portfolio. However, uh, that's where you make money. You're entitled to an arrangement fee. You just ask your friend what's your standard uh, incentive uh, so that you get the fairest price. Then, uh, explain the matter to the German and tell them you'll need another success fee. That if you're able to arrange the investment banking arrangement, you have also a, a facilitation fee for your part. Okay. Says, okay, I understand. Just follow instructions of both sides. Okay. So come uh, a few weeks later, it was his birthday and he called me let's celebrate and I said why well I have another kind of problem to solve related to our last time both uh, investment uh, arrangement fees left and right of the transaction push through I'm looking at my computer now. Oh, came on back. It's become more trickier. Uh, he told me all his bankers locally couldn't accept any more remittance because it might violate. AMLA laws. So, he resorted again to Feng Shui. Okay. I could help him. It so happened, uh, I just came back from a recent China trip, uh, Hong Kong, where I learned a crazy technique done by the crazy rich Asian boys to go about their huge corporate dividends of their mother firm offshore and get money to bring it in in the simplest manner possible without hassle in the Philippines. So I told him, uh, for every correspondent bank you have in Chima, open a prime credit card counterpart account that will serve as your ATM. That in Japan, and it has been adopted here for stock market trading to uh, they use Aruana to trade. They have a aquarium on the trading floor, or the best is they keep hidden the aquarium in between the walls. So they asked the Warwana whether to buy old or 
shell. Just one question. Shall I buy it? Within a reckoning period of five seconds, if you're a wise active, streaming regularly as it is, uh, it's a yes. If it threads on the water, then it's a no. Okay. Uh, there's no ambivalence. So it's like going to the temple throwing those red beans. Uh, yes or no, the pack was. Okay. Why they do that? It's faster, less traffic, and you can create live stream. Okay. Uh, the practice is done here before. I don't know if they're continuing uh, with the uh, Morocco A, Morocco B. Uh, That's one insight. Another urban legend is uh, something you will learn next week. The grandfather of the Arowana or the Arapaima. Well, this always the ikawulad ng bayan kung soy ang kailangan. And because of our lesson tonight, if you want a quick start, your prosperity with love sa ikaw ang ilag ng bayan arawana ang kailangan Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Big Media